Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get better movement. But before I start, if you haven't already, please drop a like and make sure to subscribe. Now let's get into the video. So, if you guys are on keyboard, then you're probably going to want to download this app that I have running right now. It's called Wooting. And it's a double movement app that allows you to move like this while you're on keyboard, just like a controller. I'll show you guys what it looks like without the app on. Well, you guys probably already know, but I'll roll the clip right now. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like without the double movement app. I can barely move to the left and to the right. So this will help you duck, and, or this will help you weave shots, and it will help you not get hit as easily. Because you'll be making hard cuts in certain scenarios. Alright guys, so I'm going to turn the app back on, and then I'm going to show you how to master your movement. Here we go. Alright guys, so for our first scenario, as you can see, we are in a box right now. So, I'm going to show you guys how to get way better movement in a box when your opponent is trying to shoot at you or spray at you with their SMG. Or even with their shotgun, you can still duck and weave their shots very easily. So, in a box, you got to remember you never want to jump because if you jump, it's so easy for me to track, like, my friend over here. So, my friend, jump please. Look at that. You can just go up and down and jump to the side. Right? So easy to track like that. So, it's way harder if he's ducking and weaving, going like this. Like, I can't keep a straight target on his head. So, you can duck and weave and show them what it's like. See, it's way harder to track like that. And he's just going in a pattern right there. But if I'm, like, constantly going all over around you, it's much harder to track when you're ducking and weaving in front of them. So, first tip is to never jump in a box with the opponent. You only jump over them. The only time I'd say it's good to jump over them is if you're jumping, like, directly over their head. But never jump side to side in a box. It's only gonna be getting you killed. So, you just wanna jump over their head. If anything, that's about it. But other than that, I'd recommend not jumping in a box. Because ducking and weaving will be so much better for you. Alright guys, so we're still in the box. But now let's add a cone to the box. Okay, so if you have a cone, as you guys might know, it's actually harder to track an opponent while you're on top of the box. So, you're obviously going to be, like, spraying back. But if you're just trying to master your movement and not get hit, and you have decent aim already, then what you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to stay on the outsides. Because as you can see, it's flat. So if I ran around the outsides, and my friend was trying to shoot at me... I would be running like this on the outsides and they can just go in a straight line across and there's no extra little movement. So if anything, what you want to do is you want to keep coming up, down, still ducking and weaving, cutting side to side. But what I like to do is going over the cone because going over the cone while ducking and weaving is one of the hardest things to track. Like I'll show you, my friend will do it right now. So Sam, I'm trying to battle him right now. Right, it, it's really odd, like, it looks like, <laughs> it, it looks like a rainbow, and it's hard to track his head, it's hard to get a headshot off, and all that, so, yeah, you don't want to stay on the bottom and in the corners of the box when there's a cone in the box. Alright guys, so we're still in the box, and now this is with a stair, so we're going in depth pretty well in this video on how to master your movement. So anyway, with the stair in the box, you if you're trying to duck shots, you always want to be on the top of the stair. Reason being is, Aiden, if you go down there, <laughs> then look at how easy it is to get the 200 pump. Like, this is lined up so well, right? I can just track his head so much easier. Now, if I go down here, right, you look at how hard that is to track compared to being down there. So if you go straight left and right, right down here, I can just stay on you. It's not that hard. And I have a clear headshot on you the entire time. And you're most likely to crouch up into a headshot and get too under pumped when you're down here than up here. So that's how to master your movement inside a box. Now let's move to outside the box. All right, guys. So for our second scenario, 
it's more like medium to long range. I'd actually call this medium range. So if you see an opponent coming at you, or if you're if he's spraying at you and you have no mats, what you're gonna want to do is you're not gonna want to jump at all because when somebody's running and jumping, it's such an easy target to track. So I'll get my friend to run in a line here and just jump for me. All right, super easy, super trackable. So. You never ever want to be jumping at all in a situation from like a close to medium range situation. Jumping just won't cut it because it's just the easiest movement to track in Fortnite because it's super predictable. What goes up comes down. All they have to track is how fast you're going. So now I'm going to show you guys what to do when you're being shot at from medium to long range. And let's just pretend I have no mats here. So what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to weave side to side like this while ducking. And I accidentally jumped there, but that's not good. So as you can see, he can't hit me very well. And he's tap firing. He hit me twice out of that whole time. So yeah, ducking and weaving while you're strafing is the way you want to go. Never run at somebody in a straight line. Never jump. Even if you're jumping to the side and weaving, it's still so easily trackable. So just make sure you're weaving, ducking and weaving while moving side to side and never to jump. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how to master your movement from long range. So as you can see, my friend is about 200 meters. I don't think that's actually 200 meters. It's like 83 meters. So that's considered decently long range, for, especially for a SCAR or any AR. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how to master your movement from this far away. Basically, you never want to run, like, if you're running at your opponent, you still don't want to run and jump, right? Because you're getting closer to him, but if you're running further away, and like I said, 80 meters is pretty far. Like, if I start shooting at him, I have decent, like, bloom. I'm not going to hit him every single time. Out of the four shots I shot there, I literally only hit him twice. And just imagine going through a full clip, I'd probably only hit him around, like, six times. And that's like still not very good for 30 bullets so um and he's still standing still so if he was running i would not have great bloom there um but yeah so you never want to run straight at all and when it's medium or when it's long range you want to be ducking and weaving but you can also jump because like i said the bloom from this range is so bad that if they're just rapid fire firing, they're not going to be able to shoot you as well while you're jumping because you're going out of their crosshair and tracking at this like distance isn't even that good. Like if I'm already started shooting, right, I can track them the full way and I hit him twice there. I went through like 20 bullets. I didn't even know how I had how many I had in my clip, but I went through a lot of bullets tracking them the entire time and I only hit him twice. So, like I said, here, you can start shooting at me there, Neon Galaxy, and I'll just run, right? Like, running and jumping in a straight line is probably not the smartest, right? But now, if I run and weave and duck and jump, he can't hit me as well. It's just not as easy. So, out of all those shots, he hit me one time, which is pretty good. So... Especially if you're running away, you want to be doing the exact same thing. More ducking and weaving. So you want to do hard cuts. You can't just go like this. Because if you go like this, you're basically still running in a straight line. And you lose your momentum sometimes. So you want to do hard cuts, if anything. You know, like this. And cut, and then every once in a while you can jump. And it is what it is. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped you guys improve your movement. And improve the way you play. It will help you tons in fights. It will help you so much while you're trying to kill somebody in a box. It will help you in box fights, in build battles, whatever you're playing. Any sticky situation, even if you're using it for in-game, because that's mostly what it's meant for. Your movement is such a key part of the game. So, I guess we will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.